Hi, Pash. How are you? Hi, Pranay. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How are you? I'm also good. Thank you. Okay, so let's begin the interview. First, I'm going to introduce myself. Okay, so hey, I'm Pranay. I mainly work on the front. So, yeah, let's talk about yourself. Hi, I'm Akash and I'm currently working at ABC organization from past two years. Currently, I'm working here as a front-end developer. The major tech stack that I work on includes React.js, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, TypeScript, Redux. I do have a knowledge of Node.js and Next.js as well. And my main role and responsibilities include to work on the modules that are generally built on React. And yeah, that's pretty much about myself. So, Akash, this uh, React.js machine coding interview. So what you can do is you can share your screen. It will tell you the problem statement. Okay, sure. Okay, so now you can open any online code editor of your choice. Okay, and now what you have to do is the problem statement is that you have to create a small form. And it will be like two input boxes that will have name and email and you have to make a submit button and on the click of that you have to simply console.log the form data. Okay. And first create this much, then I will tell you what you have to do next. Sure. So what I will do is um this is my app. Okay. So inside over here, what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to create a form first. like this and inside my form as we have suggested that we are going to have a div like two input box so to make those input box what i'm going to do is first i'm going to create a label and this label will be something like name and similarly what i can do is i can create this label for email something like this and after this i will have an input box Okay, so I will it will take text type equals text. I can give it like name property as well. And uh, okay, so for now I will be giving these two properties. And for email also, we can have the type as email and the name as email, something like this. And after this, what I can do is we can simply have a button. with the name like submit and over here what i will do is i will simply give it button type equals submit something like this akash if you want to ask anything you can ask it till the time i am muting myself sure i will okay so uh, we have created okay so i have created this uh, ui now what will i do is i need to have a state so that I can uh, keep this data in my state, I will be using a state form data, something like this. And uh, we have to use use state. Okay. Now, okay. So inside this, I will have two properties, something like name. Initial property will be empty string. And I will have email, and in initial property will be empty string, something like this. And uh, okay, so it's giving error because we need to import it use state. Okay, so the next step would be that we can have this value as form data dot name so that it can become the control component controlled by the state. And now we can have the email something like this. Okay, so next step could be okay, say is this working? Okay, so it's not working when I'm typing anything. Okay, so uh, okay, yeah, I got it. It's not working because I have not added on change property. And on on change, uh, what I can do right now. Okay, so I have not created a handler. I can create the handler like const handle change something like this. And uh, over here, what I can do is I can simply get the event, and I can call this handle change over here. Something like this. And uh, okay, so over here also I can do the same. 
yeah and now i will get the uh, console.log inside console.log if i check what value i am getting dot target dot value so yes i am getting the uh, thing but uh, it's okay so it's not uh, getting set because we need to uh, set this thing inside the state as well so for that what i will do i will be using the setter method set form data and uh, inside this for now what we can do is i will use the second form of state that will work something like uh, basically over here we can return the new state and this new state i am going to have the previous state first and with the previous state i am going to uh, you know uh, update it like on this particular property the value that i am going to get so what i will have to do now is i need to destructure this property from sorry from uh, this event dot target so from this event dot target i can have two things one will be the name another will be the value so now what i am doing what i am trying to do is like we have this name property and this name property over here and we are mapping this name property to this object key name and email so that now what we can do is when we are typing something over here on this input box and now we are going to get that get that in input uh, event dot target dot name now so we will be updating that particular property of our object like name property with the corresponding value of this input box similarly the email property okay with the corresponding property of the email and this is how we can have the dynamic key so now if i try to type something like aka sh akash yeah so cool it works so our basic thing is clear so now uh, as i as you have said that we need to console the value so for that i will do is okay so if i type akash 1 2 3 so it gives the error uh, because we have used name equals to email okay so let's type the valid email okay so for now we have a at the rate b.com let's press submit now okay okay so actually what happened is our page got reload and nothing got printed why uh, okay 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 cool uh, so it's a button type submit uh, we need to add the okay cool so first what we need to do is we need to uh, add the on submit over here like on submit equals handle submit something like this and over here also what we need to do is we need to prevent the default behavior because uh, the default behavior of the on submit button is that it will reload the page so we need to prevent it so now let's type it okay so we have uh, written the text now let's click on submit cool so as we can see we got the form data email and name hi it's working Okay, so can you please walk me through your code? Sure. So uh, what I've done is first I've simply created this UI component. Okay, and this button over here. After this, I have created my state having and I have kept the object over here, name and email. Rather than keeping two different state, I have simply kept one object. And over here, I have one handler that will handle the change. Of this input box and i have a submit button that will be called when we press this submit button and over here i have simply written this a uh, console log this form data can you tell me why you have done e dot prevent default okay so we have done e dot prevent default to prevent the default behavior of that submit button that is to reload the page got it cool so now what you can do is uh, the next step is that you have to use the form data and you have to hit one API. Okay, you can take any dummy API 
and simply make an API call. And uh, you can pass the name information to that API call, and that API should be a post request. Sure, I will do that. So what we can do is we can make an uh, make the use of fetch API. Uh, and using the fetch API, we can simply pass a dummy API. Okay, so I will be using this particular API, and now I will be sending some data. So first thing will be method that as I will as you have told, it should be post method. Secondly, um, it will take the headers. We can pass the headers, and headers will be something. Uh, okay, so I think it will be like uh, we can pass like content type, and uh, okay. So it should be content type application JSON. Application slash JSON, something like this. And after this, uh, we can pass the body. So we need to pass the body as a stringify, basically uh, a stringify manner. And inside this, it will take one object. And as I have seen in the documentation, that it takes the title property this API. And to this title property, I will simply pass the form data dot name. Okay, so now we can see if this API call is made or not. Okay, so I'm going to open the network tab, and let's see. Okay, so in the fetch access jar, let's clear it, and when I click on submit. Okay, cool. So as we can see, this is the API call that has been made. Uh, this is the API that we called, and inside the payload, uh, the data that we have sent title and Akash. It has been, it has been sent, and we got the response that is type ID and the title that we have sent. I I have completed the task. Okay, uh, cool Akash. Can you walk me through it? Yeah, sure. So what I've done inside handle submit is that I have simply created this fetch method, and using this uh, fetch method, I have simply created this uh, API, and using this fetch method, I have simply called this API, and this API takes the URL and the method, basically get push a uh, post put put delete, and uh, then we have the headers, and finally I have sent the body, uh, that is the name that you told. Okay. Uh, I have one question that um, let's suppose we want to use the response that this API has sent us. How can we do that? Okay, should I code it? No, no, don't code it. Just simply tell me. Okay, so what we can do is uh, this fetch returns a promise, so I can use dot then, and using dot then, uh, I can simply handle it. Okay, so if if it won't take much time, can you just quickly do it? Yeah, sure. So what we can do, it will return the response. So as we are not using Axios, so first we need to convert it to response dot JSON, and then once again we can use dot then. And over here, the response that we are getting, we can simply do console dot log, or we can store it, store it in the state depending upon our need. Okay, so now I'm going to clear the console and in the network tab, let's have a look. When I click on submit, this API call is made, and in the console we get our response that is ID and title. Okay, cool Akash. Uh, yeah, uh, any optimizations that you can do inside this uh, in terms of code? Yeah, sure. What I can do is I can simply like remove this fetch of this particular code from here. And I can I can simply put it into some another function and call it over here, or else I can also create one use fetch hook in which I can place this particular code. And there are some validation checks that are missing over here, like for all these uh, like like what we can do before making an API call, we can simply check like if our name is not empty, email is not empty, and on submit click what we can do, we can simply clear this uh, Akash and email field. So all these optimizations we can do.
cool cool akash i got it now what you can do you can simply like copy this uh, link and you can just simply uh, send this link to me and okay so akash i am done from my end uh, do you have any questions so friends now what you can do you can just simply ask few questions something like what does a typical day look like in this role at your organization secondly you can also ask that please can you describe me an example or any project of the project that i will be working on so these are the questions that we can ask and and to be honest friends i tried something new this time and if you have liked it if you have learned something new from this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and thank you for watching